In this video, we're going to take a look at building out an assignment activity in Moodle. Whether you are an online instructor or you're using Moodle to enhance your face-to-face -face or blended class, assignment activities are a great way to take your normal assignment workflow, make it a little bit more efficient and flexible, both for you and your learners. If you're dealing with big stacks of paper assignments, or if you're having students email you submissions, this guide is for you. So to get started, I'm going to turn on editing in my Moodle course. Then I'm going to go to the area where I want to add the assignment in. Typically, this will be dropped into a weekly module, and I will click Add an Activity or Resource. Then I'll choose Assignment. Now I'm ready to begin filling out my settings. So I'm going to give this a name. I've also added in a description. This is where you should put your assignment instructions. If I had any templates or anything I wanted to include for students to use as a resource, I can upload that as a file here. I now want to look at the availability. So all of these uh, available availability settings I can disable or enable. So obviously I might want to have a starting date where I allow uh, students to begin submitting to that assignment if I don't want them working too far ahead. Obviously I do want a due date as well. Uh, so I can set that using the fields here. If you click the calendar icon, that can make it a little bit easier to choose a date. In general, for the due date, I do recommend for the time that you go ahead and make that as close to midnight as possible. That seems to be the least confusing option for students. But of course, depending on your style and what you teach, you can choose whatever time works for you. If you don't want to allow students to turn in late work, you do need to enable the cutoff date. So after the cutoff date, students will no longer be able to submit late work. If you leave this unchecked, students can, for the foreseeable future, continue to submit late work to your assignment. Of course, it would be time stamped and it would be very obvious to you that it was late, but if you have a strict policy, you can go ahead and set a cutoff date. Just make sure that it is after your due date. A newer feature in Moodle is this remind me to grade by. Uh, Moodle will send you a message reminding you to complete your grading on the date that you leave here if you have that enabled. Looking next at the submission types, of course the most common is we're asking students to upload a file of some type. So we would leave this checked here. We could also have both of these options checked or neither checked. So say for instance, I want to allow students to paste in a link to some online activity they've done, a video they've made, a website they've made, I can use the online text to allow them to do that. I also could uncheck both of those if I don't actually want them turning in anything to the assignment. Maybe I'm just using the assignment as a grading placeholder for something that they're doing in class, for instance. But in my case, I'm going to leave it on file submission. You can also change the number of files they're allowed to turn in if it's a multi-part assignment and you can specify the maximum submission size of the file they're allowed to upload up to whatever the maximum of the, your Moodle site is configured to be. In newer versions of Moodle, you can even choose which file types they're allowed to upload. So if you have a strict requirement, you really need it to be a Word document and not a PDF or whatever it might be, you can do that here. So looking at feedback types, of course you can leave feedback comments on the assignment. You also could enable an offline grading worksheet if you wanted to download a worksheet that you could fill out offline. That's going to allow that option. And if you want to send feedback files to students, so for example, a Word document that you've marked up or something along those lines, you can enable feedback files and actually send a marked up document back to the students. For submission settings, we can require that students click on a submit button after uploading to finalize their submission and or that they accept a submission statement, something along the lines of, I verify that this is my own work, etc. And we can require them to accept that statement before submitting. Moving on to group submission settings, if you are going to do collaborative work, you do need to come and turn the group submission settings on. You can require that students be in a group before they're allowed to make a submission. 
And you also can require that students in a group all click the submit button before a group project is considered turned in. Notice that this is grayed out unless I have the submission requirement turned on and then I could enable that additional requirement for group projects. For notifications, I could choose to receive a notification anytime an assignment is submitted, maybe only when a late submission is made. So that would give me a heads up if I'm no longer looking at that assignment submission that someone did turn something in late. The default setting for notify students has to do with when I'm going through and giving grades and feedback. Do I want students to get an email notification that they have just received a grade in my course? Finally, here we'll look at grade. So by default, all the assignments as you're creating them are going to be a point assignment that is worth 100 points. Of course, you can adjust this to whatever you need to for your course. You can also, if you look at the grading method, look at a more advanced method like using a rubric. And I would see the rubric options once I save and close this view. Or I can even make a assignment completely ungraded if it's something that I just want to use to collect a form or an agreement or otherwise I need students to upload something that doesn't really have anything to do with their grades. In my case, I'm going to make a 20 point assignment and click save and display. So at this point I have created an assignment and I am awaiting students to make submissions. Okay.